98, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. So yeah, I put in my title that we're gonna do a lot of fish today. So my name is Jet and I'm Mr. React. I cook in this channel and I show you how to cook or you know the basic of cooking. And maybe one day I inspire to be better and let's cook on. Alright, so I'm gonna show you the process of how I make this. First thing you wanna do is pick the fish you wanna fry, right? In in my case I'm I'll be using haddock. Right? Um, doesn't matter what fish you use. For fish and chips, uh, they use a lot of fish. You can use haddock, pollock. Uh, cod, there's more but that's the most common one they use in here. Whatever you prefer, you can use a frozen or fresh fish, it's up to you. Fish is a fish, right? Just don't use those fake fish, right? Those uh, imitation crab. So the first step I did is cut all the fish, right? And I want to cut it in the right size, so when I fry it, it looks good. Some, you know, some, some restaurants cut it big and some restaurants don't, right? It's, it's up to you. I'm just counting the fish. 62. 64. You stupid! Right, so this is the first step, right? Um, after you cut the fish, is we need to prepare the second step. I had a video of this before, of like um, I teach how to butter foods, right? In that video, there's three steps on like how to butter food, right? and I even show how to actually make a butter from scratch, and yeah, not relying from other recipes. Second stage is we need to flour this, all right? <laughs> Try it. See, I'm not gonna show you how I made this butter. Um, I already teach you how to make some. Just watch this video. Advice though is um, when you're making a butter, you always want to use cold water. The consistency is kind of like thick, right? Like her. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. So yeah, I have a deep fryer here and I set it up for like 300. You don't want it to be very high and you don't want it to be very low. Once you did the steps, is you're just ready to go to cook, right? And um, here it is, beetle. So the thing we're gonna do today is called blanching. Most food industry does this is blanching means you're just gonna par cook the thing, right? You're not gonna cook it fully, so. So you don't really need to cook it fully. All you just need is to like uh, cook it, right? Two, three, four, five. So I still have hundreds, okay? Let's just keep going. So yeah, this thing takes a lot of work, but it's not that bad. And yeah, just look at me there. It looks like I'm having fun anyways, right? I'm trying to fast forward this thing for you so you don't see the whole 30 minutes of process but hey I'm doing well and uh, yeah look at it. Um, if you had the same experience you, you know how this feel and for those people who want to experience it um, buy more fish. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Alright so let's check Nemo. What, what are your message for the people who's watching this? Here's the first batch on the way to 100. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah the process is really simple right? I'm on my second batch now and right, uh, you can see that we're using fresh clean oil and that's the best thing when you're doing fresh. <laughs> so yeah, I did it. Look at this. Finally I'm done. Let's just bring this with the other fish. And this is what I did today. All right. So yeah, let's count this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 23, 24. Nice. <laughs> it looks hard, but not really, right? The more you do the things, it will get easier and yeah. This is how much fish I did today. I think I did that in at least 30 minutes. Well, plus the prep, so at least an hour. So yeah, um, this is where I gotta end it. <laughs> hope you like the video I did. And yeah, I hope you like uh, that I cook 124 fish. Just like wondering why is that the number? I don't even know. Probably put that in your lot. <laughs> oh. Put that in your lottery ticket, and you might win something. 
<laughs> Anyways, my name is Jet and I'm always here trying to cook something and if you have a suggestion I'll do it or whatever. <laughs> Peace.